So Bradley, what would be like the reason why you might not work with somebody and keep them in your, your network of collaborators or that team that you consistently work with? Yeah, um, I would, I mean, I don't know that they'd be too different from what people might just assume. I mean, obviously if you work with somebody and you just don't have um, a good professional relationship mm -hmm. uh, and you're, uh, I was going to say butting heads, but I think butting heads is fine as long as you, the two people who are butting heads are one, still respecting each other on a personal level mm -hmm. and two, still making the same film. Right. And when you are butting heads at cross purposes where I guess the butting heads isn't uh, great. So yeah, if, if I was uh, continually having to bang my head against the wall to uh either be seen or heard or recognized or you know if i could recognize that they were having to do the same in regards to me and we just weren't having a a unity i think that would be one you know obvious way a uh, sign of you know maybe this isn't the best uh relationship um and secondary to that um i suppose on certain projects be it because of uh budgetary reasons or because of uh you know anything like creative reading reasons logistical reasons time and space you know they live in a different portion of the world or what have you um and it's just going to be too difficult to to get back uh together um they're not uh available because they're working on something else Mm -hmm. I mean, all of those things would come into play, but if there, I would say, if there's somebody who I really feel fits this mold, mm -hmm. I'm going to try my best to uh, make the uh, the project with them because uh, I think it'll be better uh, mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. um, but how about yourself? What are what are reasons why you uh, can, may uh, decide not to continue on with somebody? Um, I mean, basically exactly the same. I mean, I don't really have anything different from that. Just professionalism, um, you know, maybe just a cr different creative vision if it was that different from what we, I wanted to do and what they wanted to do. I mean, then you would part ways. Um, but I mean, to get really specific even about professionalism because that I've had to part ways with um, several people um, on my last film. And I think it's the number one thing was just being like honest about your commitment to being available for the project, your skills that you could bring, um, even like some of the cinematographers, what equipment they had access to. Mm. Because just in the indie world, it's like a lot of people own their own equipment. You're not necessarily always renting. and you know, yeah, and just professionalism. I think that's the most, that's like the baseline, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then from there, if it's like, you know, there's some conflict or uh, on set or they're just not cooperative or stuff like that. But in general, like if somebody's professional and they have uh, an open mind and they're not attached to their ideas, then I enjoy working with them. When do you feel your best? in terms of collaboration? When do you know it's just like running like exactly the way, how do you feel good about it? Um, I think it, it's best when it surprises me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel electric about it, but also comfortable. Yeah. But comfort with it um, in that relationship. So it's like, challenging in some ways but also really comfortable so that you're able to have com same communication styles maybe mm. so i think that's when i feel my best is like when i'm kind of bonded with somebody on a communication there's trust there like they trust me and i trust them that we have each other's back that they're in a safe place and that um they're not just going to be disregarded and i'm not going to be you know this egomaniac and it's only my way you know we have a trust there um, and yeah, like an unspoken way of interacting almost. Um, but also I really love when it's 
when the ideas are so electric and it's just like, you know, you get in this rhythm and you, you just know um, about midway through production, you're just like, yep, got it. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's do that. Oh, you know, it's right. wonderful. So what about for you? No, I like what you said about surprise. Um, mm -hmm. And I think surprise uh, is welcome when you have, like they're not, when it, when, when surprise is working, it's not really a surprise as much as it is a, um, it's kind of a, I don't know if, Revelation might be too big of a word for it, but like you, it's not you're getting surprised with something you always knew was there because you've done the work to build the trust and to build the relationship and you've uh, worked together in such a way where um, it's a surprise in that like in the moment uh, they've brought something to the table that you might not have been thinking about, but you've done all this uh, prepping work with them and built this whole uh dynamic with them in such a way where you knew that they were always capable of this moment existing eventually mm -hmm. and so by the time that it's actually happening it's kind of like oh yeah that's exactly why you're here right. um that's exactly why we're here together and that's exactly um the energy that we always wanted uh mm -hmm. to, sh to share with one another so um, it, in that way, it is sort of a confirmation of your own instincts, um, but also just of, uh, you know, in, a, in the best of collaborations, there's a confirmation of your, you know, relationship um, that you've built. And so that, that feels good from the standpoint of um, just, as I kind of said earlier, really feeling like you've been seen and heard by somebody else it's hard yeah. to let people go because you've built up a, hopefully a trust and a, a personal relationship with them. And it feels like you're, um, it feels like such a definitive end yeah. to something. Yeah. Um, are there, you know, now that we're kind of in this <laughs> sad uh, section, are there like tips or, uh, I mean, like even like, as an actor, you know this, like, even in the casting, uh, you know, the traditional casting, uh, there's some of this in that if you've worked, not necessarily because they've done something unprofessional, but you decided another actor is going to fit this role better, and maybe you've brought back somebody for, for callbacks one or two times, mm -hmm. and you're having to say to them, hey, you made it to the top three, but you're not the person, sorry. Mm -hmm. It's that same sort of energy, I think, mm -hmm. uh, when you're letting go of a collaborator or, or what have you, mm -hmm. um, maybe minus the unprofessionalism. Mm -hmm. um, but like, do you have tips and tricks for having those sorts of hard conversations with collaborators? Even if it doesn't mean you're letting them go, you're just wanting to go to them and say, something isn't working hmm. so not letting them go but it's just something isn't working on set right you're gonna have to have some hard conversation with your collaborator mm -hmm. um that you know you'd rather not but you know you have to yeah i think just i mean honesty is is kindness from my point of view so just being as direct and honest is what i would want and so i think you're right sometimes if you can catch it beforehand or if you know definitely not in public if mm. something's not working you need to step aside and go outside or go away from set to have a conversation about it um and sometimes you can give people you know a chance or two and you can mm. let them know like hey this isn't working for this reason it's you know let's try this again and let's go back in there. And I mean, if you're keeping them, you really want to encourage them to feel good. Yeah. So you want to correct the situation, but also not change the vibe or the energy. Mm -hmm. So by, you know, enthousi enthusiastically, like encouraging, like, okay, I know you can do better. This isn't working or this style isn't, you know, whatever. The, I don't know what the conflict would be, but whatever it is. 
You can mm -hmm. find a way of being direct and honest and kind and encouraging, I believe. Unless it's about professionalism, then get your stuff, <laughs> get all your footage, get all your equipment, get everything before you cut ties. Because mm -hmm. usually when it has to do with professionalism, they're not going to handle the end of that relationship professionally. Right. So before you make that contact, get everything you need to get. Yeah. And then say goodbye. Do you think you're good at collaborating on a more, <laughs> you know, basic level? And and how do you how do you become better at collaborating? Hmm. It's a good question. I don't know if I'm good at collaborating. Um I think I try to give voice to others. It's hard mm -hmm. to judge myself in that way. But <clears throat> at least in the in the respect that I try to be a good collaborator, maybe that's the first step, you know, is that you actually care about being a collaborator versus being like a dictator on set, you know. Right. So, um, so I, I care about it a lot. It's a very, I mean, there is so many aspects of my work that I'm so thankful for the collaborators that I worked with. It would be such a missed opportunity not to develop that skill because... Yeah. Um, so I think I try to find ways to, d to develop it honestly through personal work really helps, which is strange. So like I am in therapy and learning in my personal lives, how to communicate with people, how to have boundaries for myself, how to respect boundaries, how to be assertive, all that stuff I've learned through personal work, uh, yeah. helps on set. Um, so I, I hope I'm. I, I'm a good collaborator. I, at least I care about it. So, mm -hmm. and then what was the second part? Uh, I mean, I feel like you, if I voiced it as two parts, I feel like you answered what I was going after. <laughs> um, it's interesting. Go ahead. go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Do you feel that you've done work to be a good collaborator and that you're aware of areas where you might need more work mm -hmm. um i like you definitely care about being a good collaborator mm -hmm. um and so i said it as one of my early principles whenever i'm starting off on a project that you know it's important to me and i try to communicate that to everyone else mm -hmm. who comes aboard that you know this is one of the guiding principles of what we're doing here. Mm 